I knew I wanted to become a football coach at a very young age. My dad uh, has been a football coach for over 50 years, um, and so I followed in his footsteps. And it was a pretty easy decision for me. I've, I've tried to do a lot of a number of different things, a number of different professions, but everything would always kind of led back to the game of football. Well, as I continue to you know, be a part of this game, I think it's important for us to never lose sight of the fact that we have teenagers and, and young adults in, in our meeting rooms and that we're on the field with at all times. And we, we know it's our job as coaches and people who are the adults in the room to set the expectation and to set the bar of what it means to be uh, a citizen, what it means to be in these hallways, what it means to be a football player. And there's a certain level of responsibility that, that everyone needs to, needs to have in order to, to be able to succeed. And being from the state of Connecticut, there's a certain sense of pride that I have uh, when I took this job and um, there's a certain level of expectation that I put on myself to be able to, to draw a connection to the high school coaches and to the schools and to the players. My number one objective as a coach is to develop young men. Football changed my life, so I always try to be fair with everybody in the room and um, very firm on my beliefs and, and what we are doing as, as, a, as a program and what we're doing as a uh, position and then also consistent. I think being the most consistent person, uh, you know, it helps a lot of people be on the same page at all times. One of my favorite traditions is, is when you get on the bus and you're leaving to go to the game. The buses are quiet, the kids are quiet, they're looking out the window. That might be the quietest the time of the entire week and so I never get on the bus without my headphones so I can, can try to get in the zone. <laughs>